Carson Clifton recently graduated from a master's program studying industrial and organizational psychology. He's been job searching for months. I apply to all these jobs and majority of them end up being rejections or I just don't hear back at all. But he says ChatGPT, an AI-powered tool, has made the process easier. He's used it to update his resume and tailor cover letters to specific jobs. It would, you know, create an entire cover letter that's honestly pretty good to use um, and that I've used several times um, for use in the job application process. Many employers are also using the technology to prioritize applications. Arby's in charge here at RecruitBot. Jeremy Schiff is founder and CEO of RecruitBot. He shared some inside secrets to help job seekers get past the robot gatekeeper. Some people will get really flashy with uh, their resumes, like it almost looks more like an infographic on a PowerPoint slide. Um, those things are really hard for the computers to understand what's actually the content of the slide. He also recommends sticking with standard job titles and skills, but that doesn't mean your resume should be generic. The job titles and skills are sort of the thing that'll like get you through the door and have a recruiter review it. But when they're reading it, then and they're like, this person's probably relevant. That's when that sort of storytelling and narrative can be very valuable. Carson is still looking for the right job to use his degree. Format my cover letter to match this job description. He says this has saved him hours of work in the meantime. All right, let's get to some other big business headlines this afternoon, continuing with that AI trend and the Federal Trade Commission's new investigation. The FTC is looking into open AI and whether chat GPT is harming people with false information about them. An industry trade group, though, says the question involves free speech, and so it is beyond the FTC's jurisdiction. But ChatGPT's creators have themselves urged more government oversight of artificial intelligence, and the company says it will work with Washington on this.